family welcome to the channel i hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day in today's video guys we'll be reacting to the malaysian special forces this video was suggested by uh, abdullah rahman termakase thank you very much for taking the time to send me a recommendation and uh, suggestion the video is by uh, ganza channel and the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out so inshallah we'll get started with the video in just a couple of uh, seconds and at the end of the video i'll share with you guys my observation and reaction so if you want to see it then please until uh, the end of uh, the video before we get started with the video guys i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the channel membership there's a lot of uh, cool perks you can get your own logo as well as uh, cool uh, icons and emojis so do check them out in the channel membership there's lots of uh, details and lots of cool uh, perks so with that said now let's get started with our video Like basically the TNI gear yeah, is doing similarly. 69 Commando, also known as Variable Trooper 69, or VAT 69 abbreviation, VAT 69. is a multitasking elite special forces unit of the Royal Malaysian Police. PPN 69 is located in Alu Kinta, Perak and together with the Special Action Unit, is part of the Special Movement Force, PGK. Special Operations Command Police. Crazy. 69 Commando's That's mission is to carry nice. out high-risk tasks, such as counter-terrorism, hostage rescue, intelligence gathering and counter-insurgency within Malaysia's borders. Prior to 1989, 69 Commando was primarily assigned to the fight against communist terrorists in the Malaysia mm. jungle. Today, the 69 Commando has a much broader counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency role but still has considerable expertise in jungle warfare and many of their operators are drawn from the elite tracking unit Senoi Prak which is now a part of a, the RMP General Operations Force VAT 69 also known as Task Force Charlie Force and Special Projects Team was founded in 1969 mm, 1969 makes it and emulates the British 22nd Special Air Service Regiment as a small combat unit to counter communist terrorist tactics and techniques. The idea of forming an elite counter terrorist paramilitary police unit was originally proposed by the Minister of Home Affairs and Homeland Security, His Excellency Laram, late Tan Dr. Ismail, to counter the communist rebellion. In October 1969, 1,600 officers and officers from the field police units registered for the 69 VAT training, of which 60 passed the 60. basic commando training test. On 1,600. Instructors from wow. the SAS are dispatched to Fort Kemmer, Perak, to oversee the training of the first 69 commandos recruits. Only 30 police officers made it through, and they formed the first core force of the 69 command battalion. The official name of PPN 69 at that time was Force Police 69, PPH 69, Police Field Force 69, oh. and they were part of the Police Field Force. Now, oh, so quickly just smashed force the force window and boom inside the bus. In the 1970s, PPN 69 began its initial operation and was successfully deployed against the Malayan National Liberation Army, MANALA, during the second Malay emergency. PPN 69 was responsible for neutralizing a large number of MNLA guerrillas and confiscating a large number of weapons and equipment. PPN 69 worked closely with the Senoi Prak Regiment, a special light infantry unit for the Orang Asli Police, in operations against the pro communist ASIL group, which consisted of Orang Asli sympathizers from the communist Malaya. In 1977, three new squadrons were raised and trained by the New Zealand Special Air New Service Zealand. special courses were conducted to train their own instructors. This expansion program, completed in 1980, and VAT-69 has equipped the unit with its own logistics department. 
In 1978, 65 officers and operators from Bat 69 were sent to Hua Hin, Thailand, to be trained by instructors from the Border Patrol Police Parachute Training Center, Royal Thai Police. The course lasts a month, and the trainee learns to jump through the insertion of static lines. On October 20, 1997, under Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad, and later the Inspector General of Police, Tansri Rahim Noor, the Royal Malaysian Police reorganized VAT-69 and UTK under a single unified Special Operations Command, known as Forces of the Cause Movement. Although combined into one directorate, they are still basically two separate entities, operating in two different operational environments. The function or role of VAT-69 is believed to include, collection of intelligence on reconnaissance and warfare missions, special operations to support RMP special branches, in combating subversive organizations or terrorist activities, counter-terrorism operations inside Malaysia, together with the armed forces, law enforcement operations, in dealing with armed criminals inside Malaysia, counter-terrorism operations outside Malaysia, including Operation Astute and Timor Leste, search and rescue operations inside or outside Malaysia, such wow. as the relief operation after the 2004 tsunami in SA, oh, in SA. technical support and training to other RMP elites, namely staff, Sting and Stag. The Sand Colored Beret, delivered by the 22nd Special Air Service, when the original VAT-69 troops were erected and trained by SAS instructors. The sand-colored beret was then returned to PPN-69, after the beret was officially accepted as a decoration, the official head of PPN-69 on December 18, 2004, by the Inspector General of Police, Tansri Maud Bakri Omar. On November 14, 2006, for the first time in the history of the Malaysian Royal Police, PGK's maroon-colored beret and sand were honored, as a royal beret by Yang Dai Perchuan Agong, to Anku side Sai Rajad and side Putrajamalulail, the then King of Malaysia. And this wing of the parachute, worn on the left arm of the uniform, identifies the wearer as a paratrooper, airborne unit and airstrike operation operator, who qualifies. Parachute wings are for the most part, worn by operators of typical movement forces, and provided upon completion of the basic tactical parachuting course. There are four infantry squadrons in Commando PPN-69, with its own logistics unit, totaling about 1,900 members. The squadron is divided into patrol teams, consisting of 6 to 10 operations, led by a police inspector, or police superintendent. In each snipers. Patrol, individual Chewbacca. members can specialize in snipers, explosive ordnance disposal, demolition, communications and as field medics. The previously separate entities, both PPN-69 and UTK, were merged into the PGK command, on October 20, 1997, when it was launched by the 5th Police Inspector General, Tansri Rahim Noor. However, VAT-69 and UTK still operate as separate units. UTK is now officially known as Detachment A's typical movement force and PPN-69 has been represented in the Detachment B's typical movement force. Based at the Royal Malaysian Police Headquarters in Bakit Aman, Kuala Lumpur, Lumpur, PGK is under the direct command of the RMP Director of Internal Affairs and Public Security. The unit commander holds the rank of Assistant Senior Commissioner, and is the Deputy Director of the Internal and Public Security Branch. Viewers that is another special force belonging to Malaysia, which is no less great than GGK Malaysia. Thank you and goodbye. Crazy, so they're basically called the VAT-69, and I thought maybe because they have 69 members, but it actually because of uh, the year that uh, basically the team was uh, created, with, which was 1969, and uh, they were trained by the SAS, and um, they do a lot of uh, work both inside as well as outside of uh, Malaysia. And the cool thing was that one thing that they mentioned um, when they were basically went in Indonesia in 2004 to help with the uh, Aceh tsunami that uh, took place. Uh, so it's really, really interesting. Same thing, you know, they try to basically train and be prepared in case there is 
uh, criminals that they have to go chase or you know fight terrorists within malaysia or if they have any mission outside of uh, malaysia basically which is uh, pretty cool so thank you very much guys for uh, suggesting the video i hope you guys like this reaction if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you'd like me to react to another video you can put your suggestions in the comment section below as always terima kasih thank you very much joker and merci guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care